Hello, this this is a quick video on how to make a YouTube profile picture. So let's get right into it. And there'll be no messing around here. I'll just go straight for you, straight through the video. And if there's a bit that you've missed out, just you know rewind it. And yeah. So press file new. I'll put all the text that I'm using in this in the description below. So you need to put the width 500, height 500. Make sure these are all the same as mine, and if they're not, just copy of them. Just give you a minute to look at these. Yep. Alright. Click OK. Alright, to get the basic colour of this, you need to hold Alt and Backspace. Click on Filter. And, one second, if you didn't quite catch this bit, uh, you have to choose your colour before doing all this. Click OK. Make sure you highlighted on the colour that you want, and then hold Alt and Backspace. Right. Click on Filter. Render. Lighting effects. Drag this up to the top, and pull it all the way out. Once you've done that, you should get this nice shadowy effect with the nice dark red in the middle. And now you can add your text. So. The text that we're going to be using is called Diffused, and like I said, it's in the description. So you click here. I'll change the size to 75. Which is perfect. One second. And then to rotate this, just hold Ctrl and T. And then it should give you this option here to rotate. done that you can put it there double click to place it down um, now in this next bit we're going to sort of funk it up a little make some shapes and things so now what you need to do is sort of make a circle with the shape tool down here double click on it on um, on this tab to the right here Click on bevel and emboss and change the depth to a thousand so it makes it like gives it this ridge around the outside and turn the size to about six. Now tick on stroke, click on stroke and make sure this is about three as well, maybe two. In fact, no, we'll put it to and get it to 4, there we go, yeah, put that to 4 and now for this we're going to give this some text, so for me I'm going to put in TG because that's sort of like my motto, Twackle Gaming so we'll put in TG there we shall make this a bit smaller so it fits in there we go yeah, and like we did before, we'll hold Control T on this so we can rotate it. Just level it up with the other text and drag it in. One second. And if it doesn't show up in that circle, it's because you need to drag this to the top, like that. And we're going to brighten this circle up a bit, so if we go in place. Um, I just need to find my GFX file. Um, if you haven't already got this, I'm not sure where you can find these flares. This is just an an extra to this, so you don't have to lighten it up. So let me just find the right one. Um. A nice blue light. This one will do. Alright, so once you have that light, just drag it over the top and double click to place it. I need to drag this layer right down to the bottom so it's underneath. 
and it should give this a sort of light light effect around the outside, maybe a bit higher. No, it doesn't really do much. But if you can see this light around the outside, it doesn't really make a difference. That's why I said it's an option. So I hope you like this video. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I'll be making a new Photoshop tutorial pretty soon. So thanks, guys, and bye.